What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to repair out of sync problems. So if you're working on a long project and you're deep into the edit and you go back and realize something slipped and slid out of order. So now you have something that's off sync and the audio is off or the sound is off. I'm going to show you how to repair it. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's head down here in the timeline. You'll notice I have three clips. I've kept a couple spaces on the side just to make the point obvious at first, and then I'm gonna show you the different challenging situations. So normally when you move a clip, you grab it, the audio obviously is synced with it. No problem, you move it, it's ready to go. But if you need to unlink a clip so the audio moves separately from the video, you can do that of a couple different ways. You can head up here to the icon right here that says linked selection. If you click it, now when you go to move the video, it'll move it separately from the audio. But now the problem is you can see that it's off sync. So it's saying the audio does not match the video anymore. It's saying the video is one second and five frames ahead of the audio. And if you come down here, if you move the thing down, you'll see it, this is minus one second and six frames. So when you go to play it, it's gonna be off, especially when it's dialogue, it becomes very obvious immediately. Now, one quick way to make sure you have it perfectly synced up if you hover the mouse over this little section, you'll notice it turns into an arrow, kind of to the middle, to the right side of it. If you go a little too far left, it turns into the edit tool. So let's stay here where the arrow stays, the arrow icon stays on. Right mouse click, and you're gonna see move to sync and slip to sync. So the first option we're gonna focus on is move to sync. So if you notice, we have the video portion highlighted in white. So if we click move to sync, it's gonna move the video to match the audio and there it matches it back up perfectly. But let's just undo that. And let's say the way it's set up, we have other videos here filling the clips. So we don't wanna move the video, we wanna move the audio to match. Same thing, go down to the audio, right mouse click, click move to sync, and it's gonna move the audio to sync. So with nothing on the sides, obviously that's the easiest way and you're good to go. But let's just say you have different edits and you've actually moved it to where, let's say we have this edit done like this, and we have that over. So now we're having the guitar audio come in while the mountain clip is still playing. So you'll see right here, the mountain video is going and we have the audio clip here. And let's say we come over here, clip that out, and then we move this. So there you end the edit, you're down the road, and then you go back and you realize, oh shoot, it's off. Now if we go back to do what we did before, if I click the video and do move to sync, it overrides that and then leaves a gap here. So that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna undo that by Command Z. And that's where the slip to sync comes in. So imagine this barrier as a, as a wall. So there's a wall here, there's a wall here. And we want the video to match the audio, but it can't pass that wall. It can't, it can't cover up the other video we want. So that's where the slip to sync comes into play. Right mouse, click, go down to slip into sync. And we'll click that. So you'll notice it slid the video inside these walls to match the audio. So it doesn't override the video here and it doesn't leave a gap on this side. So now when we play it, everything is matched up and it didn't overtake the choice we had of having the guitar start before the mountain shot was done. And then I'm gonna relink these back together so not everything is linked back together. So if we move this and I go to move this over, now you're gonna see it still has that space, but the audio was matching exactly where the dialogue or whatever the sound would be to match the video. Now, one more thing I wanna show you that I like to do is head up here to the Premiere Pro Preferences, click on that, go to General. And if you head down here where it says Timeline towards the very bottom, it's gonna say Display Out of Sync Indicators for Unlinked Clips. So I like to click that on, because sometimes if they're moved out and you don't have it linked, it won't show that they're off. So you'll edit, you'll put things together, and then as you're listening to the playback, you realize, oh shoot, it's out of sync. But by clicking this, even clips that are unlinked, it still shows something's off when you move it, just so you know and you can, you can handle the problem when it occurs. So just click OK. So now if I unlink things and I go to move that, it'll still show the separation. Anyway, I hope that helped, and if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.